Hello, creative friends. Uh, I'm Monica Paruta, and uh, I'm here to show you something about uh, Easter. So an idea I had for uh, an Easter card. I have already made this project in Italian, but uh, as I have so many friends also all over the year, world, I wanted also to show you and explain the structure in, uh, in English. Uh, this is a card uh, with scrapbooking paper. You can make also a very easy version with your children or with children uh, in uh, this way. This is my daughter's made that, which is quite easier. <laughs> That's funny. And let's see together the structure of this, uh, uh, of this project. I hope uh, it will be interesting to see together how to make it. I have using, I'm using now a normal paper with squares. I fold in two and now I show you how to prepare the structure. For example, I use the squares in order to not to measure with the ruler. It will be easier. And then I bend in two, one here and uh, I put this part inside. It's a quite easy structure, really. <laughs> Just try with the paper first, uh, and then uh, you can use the uh, scrapbooking papers, for example. Now I bend again, I cut again. So we have like a pyramid. I do like this. And the other side. And I put this bed inside like this. One is here. Mm -hmm. And one is here. Okay. Also leave uh, always this part outside. And then you can add another cut. So something like this. Three, three squares. And now I fold again and I put inside all these bands one, two, and another one, this one inside. Okay. In this way, you will have a structure like this. So you have like steps. <laughs> so the same thing um, to accelerate, I made with scrapbooking paper. So I chosen this uh, very nice uh, uh, block of Stamperia's papers. This is a shabby rose. It's not new block, but it's something I really have always liked uh, to use very romantic. And one of these papers, I've already cut this part, which is the central part I have prepared already for you. So the same structure. You can draw the structure here and cut it. This will not be visible as you will put inside the card. A second paper will allow you to glue this part. So you bend it in two. This paper should be bigger. That's why I have prepared also this uh, paper with the measures. So you have this internal part, this, whose measures are 20 centimeters by 28, and you bend in two. And the external part, which is 30 by 22, and you bend in two. In this paper, I have also drawn exactly the uh, measures I have used here, which is quite easy as I already have these stripes. So I followed the stripes without uh, drawing uh, much before with the pencil. But anyway, then you have this 20 by 50 per 30 paper to glue this. Uh, I have Col extra forte, and we will use col extra forte on this card like this.
this and we make it glue first the first part this half and then the second half okay let's glue it and we have our structure ready for the embellishments that's why I have chosen from block some parts like this some roses some butterflies you can cut them out and then just give a little bit the shape of your elements which will be glued where exactly in these parts of your steps for example this one will be glued I've always used this extra strong glue like this on a corner and then you can use uh, some other some other elements here you can also use uh, some uh, 3d uh, tapes uh, to make them even more in relief uh, for example you can see in this other step I've already prepared with the uh, where I cut out some roses, some other things, and you can use the 3D, 3D sponges to make a more 3D effect. But I don't want to uh, keep longer time from you, as here it's quite evident how to make it. And then you can write something with cardboard here, as it is actually. A, uh, a card to give as a present for Easter. Here you have some tags, uh, but then it's your creativity. I'm sure that you can find many elements uh, to to add and to place your card. So this is what I made, and uh, this is my happy Easter for you. <laughs> Kisses and see you next time.